In Minnesota, voters can register at their polling place by providing documentation to an election judge. Voters have many options when registering, and these options are listed on a poster titled Register to Vote Today, and provided as tear-off sheets that can be given to voters. We expect you to use the poster and tear-off sheet to help the voter find acceptable documents. These are the acceptable documents that voters can use to register. A valid Minnesota driver's license, learner's permit, Minnesota state ID card, tribal ID card, or the receipt for one of these documents. Verify that this card has not expired. The design and information provided on these IDs may vary, but must contain the voter's name, photo, address, and signature. If a voter does not have a valid ID, they can present a photo ID, which can be expired, and a document with their current name and address. Acceptable photo IDs are driver's license, state ID, or learner's permit issued by any state, U.S. passport, U.S. military or veteran ID, tribal ID, Minnesota University college or technical college ID, and a Minnesota high school ID. Acceptable documents with current name and address are bill or statement for phone, TV, or internet, solid waste, sewer, electric, gas or water, banking, or credit card. The bill or statement needs to be due or dated within 30 days of the election. Mortgage, residential lease, or rent agreement valid through election day. Current student fee statement. Bills can be printed or viewed from the internet on a smartphone. A voter may have a pre-registered voter in the precinct vouch for them. The voucher needs to know where in the precinct the voter lives. A voter who registers on election day can also act as a voucher as long as they were not vouched for in that election. All vouchers need to complete the voucher section on the back of the voter registration application. One voter can vouch for up to eight people on election day. Use the voucher scoring sheet to track the number of persons an individual has vouched for. Employees of residential facilities, such as nursing homes or shelters, can vouch for an unlimited number of the facility's residents. The employee must present a letter from the facility manager on facility letterhead or present an employee ID that includes the employee's name and facility name. Some precincts will have a certified list of employees of residential facilities. Employees on this list do not need to show documentation. Colleges may provide a student housing list containing students' names and addresses. Students can use their college ID card as documentation if their name appears on the student housing list. If the voter is listed in the poll pad under an old name or address, this registration serves as their documentation. The election judge needs to verify that the voter's name is listed in the poll pad and needs to record their voter ID number on the non-registered roster and application. This letter is sent to voters who attempted to register to vote after the pre-registration deadline. The voter will have to complete a new voter registration application, but can use this letter as documentation. Help voters determine what they can use to register. Using the poster, work with voters to determine the registration method that will work best for them. If voters are unable to register, they may renew or obtain a driver's license or state ID card on election day. The receipt for these documents is acceptable. There are many options available to voters, but ultimately only the registration methods just discussed are acceptable. <laughs>